Hey guys, Wes here from Insert Frame. In this video, I'm going to be walking you through how to customize the Paragon template. Now, I won't be showing you how to add any power-ups because those will have their own separate videos. However, what I will be showing you in this video is how you can customize it and turn it from what it is currently into something more your own that fits your brand and looks more like your website and not just the Paragon template. So if I was to go to my assets panel as I have and then go to my styles, um, I would just click on any of these, including the colors and the code and the CMS links, all of that. I'm going to start with the H1 and you can just change the font this way. So maybe let's say I, I this was a SaaS company or I owned a SaaS company. Um, I would go with the classic inter um, because how can you go wrong and maybe let's say I didn't want it to be light I wanted it to be bold now what that's gonna do is change everywhere that this h1 style um, actually is so instead of just going through and changing them all individually I can do them all in you know a bulk basically just by changing them here do the same thing here go inter Go back, change it to maybe this one I'll make semi-bold. And you can carry on doing this for all of the other styles. Cool. So the next thing I'm going to look at is the color styles. This one's going to be pretty dramatic. So I can switch it to, let's say, a blue. Maybe this here. And then the green, the uh, electric green 200. I can do the same thing. I'm going to keep that there. And you can see now everywhere that color was applied is now using that other blue. So just because it doesn't have the best contrast in the world, uh, it doesn't matter too much because it's just a tutorial, but just for the sake of us all enjoying what we're actually looking at, make this one, this sort of lavender. Cool. So we can already see it's starting to take shape and look a little bit different. So that's your color styles and your text styles. The next thing I could look at is going into, let's take a look at one of the other pages. Uh, sweet, so maybe the about page. This is where it gets a little bit easier. This We're definitely gonna wanna, wanna replace this content here. These are our images. Now, if you've never done this before, you just click the frame, you can even just make sure you're on the right one. It's going to be labeled image. And you it's going to open up. I'll do it again. You click that. It's going to open up this right panel here, your properties panel. Just scroll down where it says styles. And this is where you can pick an image. And you can go into, uh, you can either choose your own or you can use um, a plugin such as Unsplash or Lummy and just choose an image that way. We'll just wait for that to load. Sweet. And you can choose something like that. Cool. And you're definitely going to want to do that for all of the content. Now, let's also look at the text here. You literally just double click it and start typing away. And then just click off uh, to edit the text. Now, let's say we wanted to change the width or the height. Well, we could do that just by making um, edits to the size here. So I'm going to keep the width the same, uh, but and then I'm going to change the height just by holding shift and using the arrow keys, or I can type in something very specific like 400 or something like that. And what I might do here as well is just switch this height to fill, and it's always going to look good. Great, so those are the basics. Now we're gonna move into the components because um, this one might be a little bit tricky for a beginner um, to wrap their head around without actually watching a video like this because a lot of these frames or a lot of this content, we can just see every single layer except for a component, we can't actually see, um, you know, we can't actually double click the text like here. It's gonna bring us to this, um, it's going to open up a new page where it shows all of the variants of our components. So for something like this, uh, dynamic text, we can 
actually go into the component and we can change anything this way. Maybe we want to make it big with a, you know, an H3. We just keep it like that. Um, but let's say we want to change the actual content in our variants, you know, in our instances. So what we'll do is we'll just click it the same way we would have changed the text in our other layers, just by going to the right panel and then um, changing it under our text panel. This is going to be under a new panel for our component. We're just going to change our text through here. Change the text and then I'm just going to hit enter. And that's how you can change the content for these FAQs. So now I'm just going to go into our assets and you can see all of our components. So you can either go onto the pages where they are. So let's take a look at this one um, in our home page. You can see that this is also a component. I can either double click on this as I find it or I can go into the assets panel and click it that way and then change it that way. Sweet, so you can just go ahead and treat these as normal frames. Um, so maybe what I want to do is the radius, I just I want this to be square. So I'm going to make it 20. I'm just going to change the radius to be 10 or maybe what will I make it? 18, that looks pretty good. And you can do the same thing here. And then we'll go back to our home and you can see now that looks different as well. So you can do the same thing for any of these components here. They're all gonna be the exact same. Um, our buttons, you'll be using these ones a lot. The primary button. Now, if you were gonna use multiple different colors, what I would do, uh, for your button at least, what I would do is click the plus button next to this um, black fill for the button and then what I would do is create a color variable and I would call that background and go home and find where we've got a button here we go and what we can do is just change it through this uh, through our colors or we can we can use our color styles or you can just let me get that in frame or we can just drag around and make something totally custom Sweet. So the last thing you might want to change is this uh, 3D model here. This is actually some HTML embedded uh, from Spline. So the way that you change that, um, the easiest way really is just without me going through the whole thing in this video, is just to read through this. Uh, we've left a little bit of documentation here. You can just read through that and you can change it that way. So hopefully by now you should understand how you can customize the Paragon template. If you're still not 100% sure or you're a little bit stuck, you can either leave a comment or you can send us an email and we should get back to you pretty soon. So thanks guys and good luck.